even with the most advanced analytics, decision-making can be undermined by false insights. There are three big traps which must be avoided. GIGO means garbage in, garbage out. It stands to reason if you feed bad data into your analytics, you're going to get some highly misleading outputs. This sounds like an obvious statement, but there are so many ways that data can lose its validity and become a liability. And here is the problem. Data is data. There is no way of knowing if data is good or bad simply by looking at it. For example, if you read from a table of information to calculate how hard and long to deploy thrusters on a spacecraft, you would hope that data is accurate. This was the case when international teams collaborated on the Mars Climate Orbiter project for NASA, which launched in 1998. Unfortunately, one of the teams assumed NASA was working in Imperial units, when in fact they had moved to metric some years earlier. The result was a $125 million project finishing in disaster, as the craft missed its orbit and was lost forever. It goes to show that if rocket scientists can get this wrong, so can businesses. So rule number one, check your data. This is achieved by getting your data infrastructure in order and assuring the data with strong governance processes. This problem is made much worse by the second trap. People see what they want to see. In psychology, this is called confirmation bias. The problem here is that people are naturally programmed to filter their experience of the world based on their feelings, beliefs and past experience. The NASA scientists in the Orbiter example would have seen valid data because they believed in the expertise of those supplying it. Here is another example from the world of business. Imagine that you just joined a new company and you hear this statement from your CEO at your first all-staff business update meeting. Last quarter we saw record-breaking sales with 150% year-on-year growth. This is the picture of a company showing some great results and you are likely to believe it because it validates your choice to join the company. However, if you had been there longer, you may also know that the same quarter a year ago was horrendous with sales performance hugely below target. Based on exactly the same figures, a very different perspective could be described. Last quarter we had a single big deal which saved our bacon. At least the overall result was better than the disaster last year. So, 150% growth can be good or bad, depending on how the business did last year and indeed what the targets look like for this year. Hence rule number two, look past the headlines. Data must be viewed objectively, fully and in context before drawing conclusions. What else could possibly go wrong? As Mark Twain is often quoted as saying, there are lies, damn lies and statistics. Ironically, he never did say this. Regardless, the expression captures nicely the ability to use numbers to reinforce any argument you wish to make. If you look hard enough in data, there are ways to justify your beliefs. This can be a problem even with the highest personal integrity and honesty, because numbers can be deceiving. For example, let's say I have a theory that the rising consumption of cheese is causing a corresponding increase in deaths. I may believe it's likely, based on the popularity of cheese and knowledge of the rise in obesity. If I were to look hard enough, I might find this data. However, this is not the whole picture. I am missing a crucial factor about the nature of these deaths. I need to dig deeper and get the full context. These deaths are in fact due to entangling in bedclothes. There clearly is a strong correlation between these two factors, but actually no evidence that one causes the other. Correlation does not equal causation. In fact, these are coincidence. If you look hard enough, you can find highly misleading evidence in numbers. The correlation trap is just one example. In statistics, this is called overfitting. Hentral number three. Data first, insights should follow, not vice versa. If you look too hard for data which supports a hypothesis, 
you're likely to find it, whether it's right or wrong.